you have a targeted approach. So you have tier one investigations, which you would do in any baby with cholestasis and the tier two investigations, which you do in liaison with the gastroenterologist in select cases. So uh, the tier one investigations we aim to evaluate after cholestasis has been established in order to identify the treatable disorder as well as to define how severe it is. The urgency of the treatment will depend on that. So you perform blood tests, including the blood count and differential. The clotting profile, AST, ALT, alkaline phosphatase, gamma, GT, total and direct bilirubin. So the full liver function panel, albumin and glucose are done as well. So glucose is important for galactosemia testing. It's a good practice to check the alpha-1 antitrypsin phenotype at this stage if you can, if you can afford it, because it will help to differentiate from other causes of obstruction, because uh, on the biopsy, for example, it mimics biliary atresia. Of course, the thyroid and the newborn screen results. In terms of urine, you would do the urine analysis and culture, as well as reducing substances to rule out galactosemia, and consider cultures of the blood, urine, and other fluids if the infant is clinically unwell. You verify the results of treatable disorders from the newborn screen. We also obtain the fasting ultrasound as part of the tier one investigation. Once you confirm that the conjugated bilirubin is abnormal, we'll be looking at the ultrasound findings in the further slides. The tier two, as I said, involve the gastroenterologist and hepatologist if you have not identified the cause in the tier one investigations. So again, you have the general test, which you might have already reviewed the thyroid function. You also include the serum bile acids cortisol as well. And specific etiologies, you do metabolic panel, serum ammonia, lactate, cholesterol, red blood cell, uh, galliput for the galactosemia, urine succinyl acetone for the tyrosinemia and organic acids. And bile salt species testing is important for specific bile salt related disorders. For infectious disease, you can do PCR for CMB, herpes, hysteria as well. And uh, genetics, you discuss in liaison with the gastroenterologist and you can consider the gene panel for many of the recent metabolic disorders, including the progressive, uh, the PFIC conditions. And of course, sweat chloride for uh, cystic fibrosis. Imaging, in addition to the ultrasound, which was done as part of the tier one investigation, you do the chest X-ray for looking at lung and heart disease associated syndromes. Butterfly vertebra can suggest allegal syndrome. Echocardiogram, there are heart diseases seen in allegal syndrome, pulmonary stenosis, BSD can be seen, ASD can be seen, and cholangiogram can be considered, which we will discuss as well. Liver biopsy is a differentiation of choice for the intrahepatic and extrahepatic uh, disease. Once you consider extrahepatic disease or obstruction, uh, the intraoperative cholangiogram is the mainstay of uh, investigation. And you might need consultations depending on what you find in the above, ophthalmology, metabolic and genetic, cardiology, pediatric surgeon, and nutritional dietitian.